So IGN bought Humble Bundle. It was really unexpected, wasn't it? I mean, seriously, I was just browsing the internet and all of a sudden, bam, IGN purchases Humble Bundle. Very, very unexpected out of left field for me. I think it was the same for a lot of people. And really, I, I it might have been the initial shock of that that really sent people off, but people are not happy. And to a degree, I can understand because Humble Bundle has been seen as kind of a, like, let's say you look at a Walmart and then let's say you look at like a mom and pop shop. People view Humble Bundle as a mom and pop shop. I feel like I'm going to be saying Humble Bundle a lot, and that's kind of, it almost runs over itself. Humble Bundle, Humble Bundle. This is going to be a fun video. Very quickly, for anyone who does not know what Humble Bundle is, first of all, you've been missing out for quite a while if you don't know what it is. Uh, second of all, it's a pretty cool site that would take bundles of game, go figure, right, Humble Bundle, bundles of games, and it would basically sell them to you at a fraction of the price, to, and depending on how much you wanted to spend, X amount would go to charity. You could even have like a slider bar and pick how much you want to go to charity charity and how much you want to go to this organization and, and actual like actual money to the site but a lot of people would essentially just jump down from there and you would end up buying several games for cheap in fact at times you could get like four or five games for like a dollar or two and then of course they have tiers so you spend a dollar for this much you spend five for this and then you beat the average which maybe is like seven dollars or something for this game and it's cool i actually built out a lot of my steam library with humble bundle there's there's several i haven't even touched yet because they came with maybe a game i wanted maybe tomb raider was up and then oh look here's saints row 2 or something a game that i have no real interest in but it's now in my steam library for later i think i have the entire series and i think i've only played uh the first one and like the third one but uh it's it's it was a cool idea and it worked well a lot of us loved the humble bundle site the humble bundle storefront they ended up uh kind of expanding from there they turned into a digital distribution site kind of like steam as well you could also sign up for a monthly humble bundle service where you would get x amount of games sent to you every month and it was pretty cool overall and then they went into something kind of interesting something that i think caught ign's eye and that is that they started to help indie developers publish their games most notably they started from what i've seen with a few but the biggest one that seems to be kind of a success now was a hat in time so over on the Humble Bundle blog, which is a part of the site, you can pretty much see it just says Humble Bundle is joining forces with IGN. This was posted by Jeffrey Rosen, who's the co-founder and CEO of the site. They go on in this post pretty much to put IGN over saying they're going to help us. Uh, even in the first line saying announcing our biggest bundle ever, Humble Bundle is proudly joining the IGN family. We will continue to bring you all of our humble products, but with more resources and help from IGN. So like I said, I understand why people are, are upset, frustrated, concerned, definitely surprised. I think everybody's surprised, right? I, I am. But I understand because this is like the big corporation buying like the little guy that you would, the, like the little store that you would go to and, and buy and talk to people. You'd buy little things here and there. But you talk to people and have genuine, genuine conversations. And now you feel like the big, the big corporation's coming in and just buying them out. And yes and no. Now, the CEO uh, from IGN said that, well, we're not going to change anything in the short term because why fix something that's not broken? I agree. In fact, the smartest thing IGN can do here is not do anything at all. <laughs> I would I would recommend that they try to uh, fund and publish more games through their indie program. I think that's a great idea because at that point, IGN is essentially a game publisher as well, which is really weird to think about. But it makes a lot of sense. Now, he says in the short term, what would they do in the long term? I have no idea. Uh, it would be very, very unfortunate if they start to do some crazy stuff and make the whole thing like a corporation and, and really mess with what works now. Humble Bundle is awesome. It gets great traffic. People actually buy from the digital store uh, more than you'd think. And maybe IGN just wants to take it and, and help it get to the next level, right? Maybe it wants, like I said, more funding for these games being published that obviously help spread the word about Humble Bundle. They get money back for it. Maybe they want to help bring in more console games for the Humble Bundle. Something I like is when they have stuff for PlayStation or maybe Xbox. Or maybe they get Nintendo stuff here, too. That would be really neat to see. Maybe they make it so it's available on consoles where you actually go into the PlayStation Store and here's the latest Humble Bundle. That would be really neat. And I think everyone wins overall. Charities win, obviously. And then I think most of these companies get some kind of tax write-off with that. I know IGN would because they're helping to raise money through charity by having people donate to them. So... It does make sense to a degree, but I understand why you might be frustrated. And I want you to tell me about it down in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts are on this entire 
IGN buying Humble Bundle? Did it surprise you? I assume it did. And are you are you upset? Are, do you just not really care? You're, you're confused by the purchase because you don't really know why IGN would want this. I can tell you, you'd probably see more ads on IGN's site for the Humble Bundle website. Maybe their latest bundle. Maybe they want to... Uh, talk about how they're donating to charity through this, that, and the other. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments, because I am very curious as to what you th can make about this whole thing. It's very odd. But anyway, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.